guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a review of the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refining Primer. And before we get into the video, I just want to say that the demo I filmed, I'm that was a different day, so that's why I'm not wearing the same clothes or wearing the same makeup and stuff. But yeah, so just letting you guys know ahead of time. So I bought this primer a couple weeks ago at Ulta on sale because obviously I saw it was on sale. I was like, I have to buy it. So I did. And so now we're here and we're filming a review. So before we get into it, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and comment down below if you liked the review, if it was helpful because if it was, I'll totally do more reviews on other products. And be sure to subscribe before you leave. And Without further ado, let's just jump into the video. So this primer retails for $45, the full size one anyway, so that's a pretty penny and I did not pay that. I paid a fourth of the price, which is so nice. So right off the bat, I highly recommend if you're going to buy this, buy it when it's on sale, unless you want to pay the $45 for it, you know, by all means, go right ahead. So, it's recommended for normal combination to oily skin, and I get that because I don't know if this is necessarily a product for dry skin, but it definitely did not dry my skin out. So, if that's you have dry skin and you don't have that issue, you might it might be able to work. I recommend getting a sample first at like Sephora and trying it out just to make sure. But right off the bat, I love it in case you were wondering and it you can see in the demo that I'll show it's not a silicone primer it has a tint to it and supposedly you can just put it on like with no makeup like they want you like to get out of the house and just have that pore refining look with no makeup on as well so anyways it's what they describe it as on the Sephora website is an effective primer that instantly mattifies and shines and minimizes the look of pores and you know results may vary. I did a close-up of my face after I had my makeup on. I didn't do it before I probably should have but I definitely think it smooths out and does everything that it claims to do. And the reason I like this primer is because it's not like the Maybelline Baby baby skin primer because that's really silicone-y and even the Smashbox as well is so like it has that silicone-y feel to it as well but this doesn't it kind of blends in nicely and it doesn't leave that like filmy feel on your face like the Maybelline one does which is the reason I it's I prefer this one and the tint is also nice because it kind of evens out your skin as well, just a tiny bit, not drastically. So all in all, I highly recommend the primer. I think it's really good. Don't know if it would be worth the $45. That's why I got it on sale. So we'll see what happens after I finish this, if I end up paying the full price and repurchasing it. Um, I'd recommend getting it at the Sephora VIB sale when they do that or like at Ulta if you find it on sale because they sell it there too. So that's what I do if you're really interested in the primer. But if you want to pay full price, you know, who am I to stop you? <laughs> so so anyways, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe the whole shebang before you leave and follow me on all my social medias. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.